So in today's video I'll be showing you how to achieve the look that I'm wearing right now. It's very colorful, it's very fun. I just wanted to play today with some more vibrant shades and this is what I came up with. I'm feeling super casual today. I'm with my sweatshirt and by the way I wanted to do some space buns but my hair sometimes it's just not in a good mood and whatever I try to do it's like nope not today this is what happened today i'm not really happy with it but i can't do much anyway i really hope you guys like the look please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and let's get started so i'm going to start off with moisturizing my face i'll use my large posse hydrine light my skin has been really dry lately you guys like really really dry and um, this one is actually my favorite moisturizing cream. I'm using it like every single day. I love it. It's very lightweight. I just... I like it. <laughs> Next for foundation, I'm going with my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. This is in the shade 52 and I'll just use my Beauty Blender to apply it on my face. And for my under eye area, I'll use this Revlon Color Stay Concealer. It's in the shade Fair. I'm also going to add a little bit on my forehead and on my chin just for some extra coverage and again I'm using my beard blender to blend it out and then I'll set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder you can see how much I've been loving it I will need to get a new one soon because I don't have much left and as always I'm using my puff <laughs> I love how this foundation makes my skin look. It's just so dewy and glowy. I really enjoy that now that my skin is so dry. But I'm just going to use a very small amount of powder to set it because this foundation, if you don't use a little bit of a powder, you know, just to lock it in place. It's kind of moving around, so I'll go with my L'Oreal True Match. This is in the shade Golden Ivory with my Morphe M402. Again, I'll just lightly dust it on my skin. I'm going to take just a little bit more of that Revlon Concealer and I'm going to apply it on my lids. I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow primer today and I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to set it again with that Rimmel Stay Matte Powder so that it won't crease. Going on the eyebrows now, I'll use this Brow Powder Duo by Sigma. This is the medium one and I'll use an angled brush to fill in my brows. And I'm actually mixing the two shades together. And then to carve them out, I'm going to use again that Revlon Concealer. Alright, going on the eyes now, um, as you probably saw in the intro, we're doing something very colorful today. So I'm going to start off with this eyeshadow here, it's called Peach Smoothie and it's by Makeup Geek. With a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply it in my crease and this is going to be my first transition shade. I'm planning on wearing a very summery colors, even though um, it's almost winter, but I don't care. <laughs> It's going to be summer for me today. The next eyeshadow that I'll be using will be this one here. It kind of matches my background though. <laughs> it's called Cupcake and it's by Makeup Geek. With my Zuiva 231 brush, I will apply it again in my crease, but I'm not going to bring it as high as I took that previous orangey shade. And you wanna reapply it a couple of times so that you build up that intensity and it's nice and vibrant. Alright, next I'm taking this gorgeous blue shade, it's called Pegasus and it's again by Makeup Geek. It's one of their foiled eyeshadows. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit and then I'm going to dip it in that shade. It's coming out much more intense if your brush is a little bit wet. I'm going to apply it in the outer corner of my eye. How intense is that you guys? So pretty. Next, I'm taking one more fold eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This one is called Daydreamer. I'm going to use again a wet brush, but this time I'm going to place it in the outer half of the eyelid. 
I love this color combination. I think that it's so pretty. Next, I'm grabbing one more foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This one is called Whimsical. And again, with a wet brush, I'm going to apply it in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm also going to bring it slightly on that lit area there. Okay, so now that we have all the foiled eyeshadow on the lid, I want to blend out that harsh line between the lid area and the crease. So I'm going to take again that eyeshadow called Cupcake, and again with that Zuiva 231 brush, I'm just going to diffuse it and make it look nice and smooth. I'll also take that eyeshadow along my lower lashes. I'm going to do some winged eyeliner. I'll use my Sigma Line Ace Liquid Eyeliner in black. So I'm going to glue on some falsies. I'm going to use the Lily Lashes in the style Lux. Alright, so the eyes are complete. I think that they turn out super, super gorgeous. I like that with the eyeliner we cover a big amount of that blue shade and now it's just a tiny little bit showing there. I think that it's so, so pretty and cute. I'm taking this palette here by Morphe with some bronzers and I'm going to mix these two shades here and I'll use them to define my cheeks and um, I'm also going to bring them on the top of my forehead. Just like kind of bronzing and contouring at the same time. For blush, I'll go with this one here by Jouer. It looks really, really intense. This is going to be the first time I'm using it. The shade is Blossom, so I'm just going to dust it on my cheeks. For highlighter, I'll go with my Mary Lou by The Balm. You guys gave me a lot of tips and tricks when I told you that it broke. And I haven't fixed it yet, but I'll try. <laughs> I'll try very soon and let you know what happened. Oh, and by the way, the brush I'm using is the Sigma F35. Alright, so on the lips today, I want to go with something very pinky. First, I'm going to line them with this um, lip pencil by Sigma. It's called Carnation. And then I'll go with this Power Crayon by Sigma. I love this, you guys. The texture is so creamy and just so smooth and nice. They just feel so, so good on the lips. The shade that I'm using today is Rubicont. And this concludes this video, guys. I hope you like the end result. I love how the eye makeup turned out. I really wanted to play with some colors today, as you can tell. Um, but I love how the pink and the purple and the blue just look together. I think that this pop of blue here in the other corner looks so good. Um, you can definitely change it. You can definitely use a darker purple shade um, so that it's not that colorful but oh you know I just love the way it turned out and I really hope you guys like it too please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog all of the links will be listed down in the description box thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in my next one bye